Okay, so we're back again with another dyno test. So this time we tested our uh, CNC gutted manifold versus the Skunk 2 Pro Series. So the test car is a H22A blacktop. It has a set of Crower Stage 3 cams and spring kit. It's the stock port, stock valve job. Uh, it's a stock short block. It does have a high-end header. Uh, three inch exhaust it was on e85 fuel and uh, again 900 cc's from injector nation and jeffrey danick uh, 255 pump and then we borrowed the intake tube we had on the other h series motor that was made by miles at rev hard and this isn't a h to b it's a straight h swap and uh, let's get into the data here so again we pulled this one about 4500 down the 7800. The left hand column here is going to be our CNC manifold and the right hand column is going to be the Pro Series. So both of these did have the same 72 millimeter throttle body. The Skunk 2 was matched for that throttle body but that was all. So our results here is you know we picked up an average of 10 horsepower and just under 8 foot pounds through the whole RPM range. But uh, you know, we're a little bit curious what the torque would do on the Skunk 2 just because it has such long runners. A lot of people seem to think that it would make quite a bit more torque than the gutted manifold. And you can see it kind of, uh, it started to pick up, you know, it, it did about even with our CNC manifold from about 5100 to 5500. But other than that, I mean, the CNC manifold just runs away from it again, right in the mid-range. So here we go, you know, let's say 5,600 to 6,300. You know, it's making 10 horsepower, 10 foot-pounds plus everywhere. With the peak gain being at 5,900, it made 20 horsepower more and 18 foot-pounds more. That's quite a bit. You're definitely going to feel that in the car. So again, being a stock block, we didn't really get to twist it as high as probably it would have liked here. But uh, so overall, our average horsepower for the CNC manifold was 198, versus the Pro Series was 188. Our torque was 168 on the CNC and 160 on the Pro Series. <laughs> So to close it out here, our overall results were uh, we picked up an average of just under 10 horsepower throughout the entire RPM range and just a hair under 8 foot-pounds throughout the entire RPM range with a peak gain of 20 horsepower and 18 foot-pounds at 5900 RPM. So if you have any questions or you'd like to get this done to your manifold, you can go ahead and send us a message on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash badguysworldwide. 
Uh, if you want to see some more pictures of the Manifold or the other services we offer, you can check out our website at badguysonline.com. You can also follow us on Instagram at badguys underscore worldwide. And I want to thank Mike at MN Tuning for helping us get all this data and doing the testing for us. And uh, this car was dynoed on a land and sea uh, chassis dyno, the dynamite one, and uh, I think that about covers it.